on the count of three, you guys are gonna take off your blindfolds. One, two, three. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, this is totally something I would not have picked. <laughs> it's brown. It's just, it's a little darker than I thought. Eric, how we doing? Yeah, uh, not so egg. Mm. What's wrong? Um, very disappointed. We're supposed to be embarking on this new chapter of our lives and all I see is darkness and oppression. We, we spent a very long time saving for this moment and it feels like it's for naught. We have a lot to see. Let's walk through. I completely empathize with how Eric and Jennifer are feeling right now, but we bought them a really amazing house with a ton of potential that's not to their style. That can be changed. OK. Love the hardwoods. Not yep. so much the carpet. I don't know how I feel about the brown on everything. I'm still trying to get past the outside. This happens every single time we work with a couple and we buy it blind. Buying a home is daunting. The perfect home really doesn't exist. Even people that have unlimited budgets, they still don't find the perfect home. <sighs> Moldy gingerbread house. It's, it's so brown. You guys want to check out the We're kitchen? Right All right. right. OK, so, oh dear god. Uh, now this one doesn't make me happy. I like to feel light and airy in my house. This is very dark sure, for me. Sure. Um, I do think this kitchen has a lot of potential in its size. Size? Okay. The size is good. Definitely. Let's go check out upstairs. There are four bedrooms up here. I know that you guys don't need a lot of bedrooms, but we saw the extra space up here as an opportunity for a diva den for you. All right. Check out the master suite. It's bigger than what we have, definitely. Bathroom? There's Lord carpet in the bathroom. Oh, mercy. my god, no. The window features. I don't love all the stained glass accents. Absolutely not. 